Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Apollo, and we are back with another Total War Rome 2 Siege Battle. So in today's battle, you are going to witness the greatest army ever that existed. All right? Uh, so you're probably thinking, oh, Apollo, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about Sparta, right? Sparta, warriors of Sparta. You got the Spartan hoplites. No, incorrect. Oh, Okay, you're thinking about Romans, the Roman legionaries, you know, the classic, strong, powerful, no, incorrect as well. The greatest army to ever exist is this army right here, an entire force of Club Levy. No, but seriously, okay, that was a little bit of a joke. These guys are probably not the greatest warrior to ever exist, but when you have an entire army of Club Levy... It's actually pretty effective. Now, I got about 20 or 19. I had to get 19 of them because, you know, my general takes up a slot. Uh, my general is like a noble warrior. Let's see, where is my general really fast? If I can freaking find him. where? Oh, he's over here. He's hanging out with the Spartan general. He's like, so what? Oh my god, look at this. They're like in a feud right now. They're like, save the fighting for the enemy. All right. So they are uh, sword masters. So that's the only elite unit I have. Um, but yeah, I've got 19. Okay, okay. Let me be. Let me be honest. I have 18 club levy, one general, and I accidentally misclicked and got a blood sworn. But the blood sworn looks so similar in the unit card. Uh, so that was my bad. But. But yeah, so I've got 18 club, basically an entire army of club levy. I've got a whole bunch of them. They were so cheap that I could put one gold chevron on all of them. Some of them have two gold chevrons. Uh, so that increases their stats a ton. Look at the morale. It's up to 42. Melee attack, 32. A melee defense, 51. Uh, so yeah, they've got some pretty powerful stats when you, uh, when you get them to the gold here. Now, is this an actual good strategy force? Um, probably not an entire army. Um, I think that if you get like four of them and then may maybe even just three and then you upgrade them a bit, they're pretty decent and maybe your enemy will underestimate them. Uh, but getting a whole army, uh, probably not. This was kind of like a meme, like an inside joke for my me and my followers during the stream. We wanted to see all Club Levy and... Uh, yeah, you'll you'll be it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. So, anyways, let's go ahead and look at the other factions here. We have Sparta. So Sparta, of course, the classic great defending faction. Got some pikes, hoplites, and over here we have Pergamon, uh, another uh, great faction for defending. Uh, so they've got again good hoplites. They even have Glacian swords, which is uh, pretty interesting, pretty powerful with the the mix of the really solid hoplites and swords. But I'm not seeing hoplites. I'm seeing spears. Maybe they don't have hoplites? I'm pretty sure picked Peltis. Very nice. Oh, there's the hoplites. I knew they had hoplites. Come on. Come on. Uh, so back over here are our attackers. We have Epirus. And I will I will be mostly defending Epirus, but Sparta has sent over a couple units to support me. I have no archers, so it's actually kind of helpful to see he sent over slingers to help, you know, skirmish them down. Uh, and then over here we have the Glacian forces. Uh, so these guys are really good. They're going to be tough, but thank God Sparta's facing them. And then we have Boi. No, we have the Boii, uh, who are also pretty good. Uh, you know, the, the barbarian type factions always have great infantry, uh, which they can throw at us. So, yeah, this is already underway. And it looks like Pergamon is going to be one of the uh, first forces to deal with enemy contact. Uh, by the way, guys, this was streamed live on my YouTube page. Uh, I stream around 5 to 6 p.m. That's when I start on uh, U.S. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Uh, so if you guys can come out, hang out, it's always good fun. It's very chill, very relaxed, and we play some battle. We'll play all kinds of different games. Uh, so yeah, and all these players, I, I think most of them were using my Discord, uh, which you can use the Discord to communicate with me or fellow teammates uh, so, link to the Discord is down below. Here we go. Good fight. Good fight. Oh, also, another thing I wanted to mention is that I am raising money for charity, the Wounded Warrior Project. There's going to be a link to that in this video. 
Uh, if you guys want to support that, that would be amazing. The goal is 10,000 during the month of February. I don't know if we're going to be able to hit that goal, but uh, we're certainly going to try. So, yeah, definitely link in the description. So, please, guys, check it out. That would mean the world to me. Uh, back over here, we also have another fight. We've got these, uh, oh, Glacian Swords. Uh, well, this isn't Glacia, but, yeah, Barbarian versus Barbarian. And I can see the Bowie Eye like, traitors! How could you fight for such a scum faction? And then Sparta is yet to fight. He's definitely fallen back a ton, not using the arrow towers here. And then Epirus is up. Oh, yep, we are fighting. Club Levy in action, boys. So Epirus setting in his Samnite warriors. Yeah, we're. I'm fighting for the arrow tower. And unfortunately, they're neutralizing it. Hold, Club Levy, hold. I love the I love occasionally seeing troops get hit with arrows and they're not even phased about it. Like this guy right here. I don't know. Oh, he just died, but he got hit by a fire arrow. It was on fire for a couple seconds too. Oh, now Sparta's sending in some troops as well. So Sparta's helping me out. And more and more forces are about to scale the walls from Epirus. Uh, back over here at Galatia, they are just now getting onto the walls. Uh, getting hit by some pretty intense Spartan uh, Spartan archers, Spartan slaves, I should say. Oh no no no, these are uh, these are the mercenary archers. Yeah, Sparta has like the Helot archers, I believe is what it's pronounced, uh, which means slave. Uh, so, so yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's got good archers opening fire on these uh, legionaries here. We are getting some lag here. Not sure what that was about. Uh, but it didn't seem to last long. This is a pretty in intense fight here. The Glacian Swords, down to 81. Uh, they are kind of falling fast here against their uh, their peers, I should say. And then back here, seems like the enemy has a couple troops behind enemy lines. It's kind of hard to tell because we've got more Glacian Swords fighting for Pergamon. Uh, but they are causing some routing on the attacking side. It was actually pretty cool to see this fight because I was so focused, you know, with my club levy. Nice angle with the picked Peltus firing down the hill and supporting his infantry uh, from that angle. Really, really good use. And just look how massive my army is. I mean, it's because it's a full stack army. It's hilarious. There we go. And here goes the charge. Club levy going in, boys. Yeah. Club levy, man. Look, you can even see some of their clubs. Look at that. Look at those clubs. Hell yes. Wooden little maces, man. And they're just wrecking people right now. This unit already has 23 kills. And the one next to it has 24. Uh, the unit over here, I've got two engaged. Let's see. The first one to charge in has eight. And this one has 17. So not exactly as good as the other side. But Epirus is really trying to fight for this corner. Sending in more and more reinforcements into the fray. Thanks to Sparta. I think Sparta's kind of taken over the show here in this corner. That's why my Club Levy are not getting as many kills. But over here, they're doing just fine. I think the Club Levy also have a secondary weapon, if I'm not mistaken. So, they can also throw some Javelin. Which is probably why these units have 24 kills already. Because they threw in the Javis before engaging. And we also have some more Spartans helping me out over here. I don't know if he was like, oh god, Apollo, you're bringing all Club Levy? That's no good. Club Levy. Ooh, with two golden chevrons, they have 44 base morale, 33 melee attack. And also through experience, they will gain more chevrons. Now it seems like finally Glacia and Sparta are, are clashing forces. We have Spartan Hoplites holding against some Glacian Legionaries. So it's a pretty calm fight, all things considered. Sparta is moving in more forces. Uh, the Bowiei are still... Still... I don't know. They've got a lot of forces in the back here that have not gone in. Gone in. These are sword followers. These guys are actually pretty dang good. Um, so they're going to be pretty tough. And then we got the General, the Old Sworn. And they also have some reserve uh, Celtic Bowmen. So they're going in in waves, which I'm not a huge fan of. We also have some Cav getting up here. Uh, here we go. More forces going through the Siege Tower. What are these guys? 
Sword followers. Okay. So I think he's just going to try to rally up another force here. And uh, try to charge with another wave of forces. Pergamon looks like they're doing alright. Especially up here with the Levy Pikemen. Now they're pushing in with some spears. They're going to try to get these guys by surprise. But the charge is kind of kind of weak here since the Bowie Eye are also charging. And the Bowie Eye do a little counter charge there. So there goes the spears holding off these guys, the sword followers. And now we have more sword followers going up the hill. Maybe he's using these sword followers uh, to since they have like full javi. And they're going to try to javi down the pikemen, which is uh, a, a possibility and a pretty valid strategy. Uh, yep, there it is. See that? He's using his javis. Um, you're going to need a lot more, though. And he's not going to engage. He's going to go back over here and try to help out his, his uh, fellow sword followers. Pergamon also sending in more swords to this fight. Let's go back over to my side and see that it's getting pretty intense. Pretty intense. Club Levy now with 51 kills. This one over here, 52 kills. Come on, Club Levy. Get it. Get you some. Pretty big fight over here. This Club Levy has 59 kills. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So, yeah, Club Levy, elite. People always like, oh, the Spartans are so elite. No. No. Club Levy, you have to be a prestigious soldier. You have to be a genetic freak to be a part of this squad, all right? Just big old built guy that has a club. I see some of these club levy, they've got little, they've got wooden spoons. No, <laughs> I wish. They're putting up a good fight now. Oh, did I see a club, Le ooh, 77 kills with this club levy? Heck yeah. So I still got some reserves. I mean, I was feeling so good. And they are attacking my gate right here. He's got his levies uh, trying to heat it up with some fire. Still about 64. He's still got like 40 more percent there. All right, now, wow. That was, okay, now 20%. He's burning it down pretty quick. And we're breaking his forces who are attacking the flank over here. Probably thanks to the Spartans who are helping out. Still have an entire reserve force over here, and this Epirus has not made any pushes onto our, uh, like, they haven't pushed back to, uh, uh, past the walls, is what I'm trying to say. Club Levy! Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Club Levy. Look at these guys in the water. Just chilling in the water. Getting that club levy point of view. <laughs> and look at all these guys. I mean, they haven't even seen it. They're just seeing their brothers fighting in the back. I mean, look how built they are. That's a that's a strong man. All right, so let's go back over here. Let's see how the Spartans... We haven't seen the Spartans too much. Uh, they are putting up a good fight against these Galatian legionaries. Um, they're actually breaking some of them over here as well. More Galatian legionaries fighting the good fight. Spartan hoplites holding their own, though. Sparta is just one of the best defensive armies in the game. It's considering that they don't have any swords, they just have um, they have hoplites and pikes. That's about it. <laughs> they have cav and skirmishers, of course, but for infantry, hoplite, spears, pikes, that's it. That's all you need. Except when you're attacking as Sparta, it's it's not the easiest. So I noticed that, actually I think my ally was calling for help and I was like, don't worry, I've got the Club Levy. So they're gonna push it, Club Levy moving out. They're like, finally, let's go kill. So I'm gonna stop, oh, oh that seemed like it went right over my head over there, the head of this unit. But uh, yeah, we're fighting the good fight, and because I have the numbers, I can send in more and try to flank around. But I saw that he was trying to skirmish down, look at that. 
skirmish down the pikemen there. So I was like, no, 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 no. Well, then I saw that my ally was repositioning his pikemen. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I should just flank around these guys and break them, break them up. The Bowie Eye still putting up a good fight here. Still fighting in this area. Sword followers taking on some uh, Pergamon hoplites. We got Archer Fire coming down now. Finally, they've moved up their Celtic Bowmen. So, so yeah, I mean, Bo Bowie I just doesn't seem like he has a ton more forces. He still has one unit weight. Oh, that's Cav. He's got his general. That's what it seems like. So it seems like Pergamon's putting up a pretty good defense. What's this over here? Oh, we got a scorpion. Bowie I sent over a scorpion to help fight uh, against the Spartans. But more and more of my club levy charging in. I still have plenty of reserve. My general was getting shot down, unfortunately, by enemy skirmishers. They're now charging through the gate over here. But you know what stands in their way. Club Levy. Club Levy. He's also got elephants. That's going to be a big, a big problem for my Club Levy. As elephants, like, elephants to kill them, you need spears, pikes, bowmen. I don't have any of that. I have clubs. I have wooden clubs. Which is going to be like throwing a piece of paper at an elephant. You know, like, who threw that piece of paper? <laughs> now we got some pikes going in. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a big problem. Here they come. Damn pikes. But it seems like Glacia over here is starting to overwhelm the Spartans a bit. Ooh. They just threw a bunch of javies into my forces. I'm going to throw some javies into theirs. He's got some mercenary Syrian archers. But my troops are getting surrounded. Come on, Apollo. Send over some more reinforcements. Send over those good club levy. Yeah, my troops are kind of surrounded. But that's okay. We're crushing his, his uh, Syrian archers. And my Spartan ally is bringing some relief. He's got his slingers over there. And here we go. Bowie Eye is, is pushing the epic big push. And it seems like Bowie Eye still has a little life left in him. You know, he's still, he's still got a lot of fighting left in him. Okay, here comes the Oath Sworn. Wait, is this not the general? No, it's the general. Some arrows coming down. Trying to, to skirmish up these guys. Oh, jeez. The pikes are disengaging. A little bit afraid of that general. Now, these guys are throwing some uh, javies as well. Uh, oh, they're going over this way. I think they're going to try to capture this arrow tower. He's only lost one man after all the... Okay, now he's losing more, but still. He's only lost a couple after so many volleys of, of projectiles. But uh, Glacia is starting to get a little powerful here. Seems like they've really destroyed a lot of the Spartan forces. Let's go back over to my side. My side's actually looking pretty good. Um, well, you know why. Because I've got a whole army of club levy. But they're not going to be able to push through. I was a little concerned about the pikes. Another weakness with my army is dealing with pikes. Unless I can flank around them. And by the looks of it... It doesn't look like I can flank around them. <laughs> so I'm trying to hold. But over everywhere else, I'm pretty much victorious. Let's see some of these kills here of the club levy. Uh, we got 87, 124. Over here, I've got some breaking units. But this guy got 121, uh, 73. They are still fighting over here. We got some Italian swordsmen. Not a great unit, but this Italian swordsman's gotten 124 uh, kills. Now, to be fair, the, the enemy is going to get a lot of kills on me since it is Club Levy. 
And there we go. This is where I'm disengaging. So I'm going to try to let the pikes come in. But Sparta seems like he's all, he's all about attacking these pikes. So he's setting up his Spartan hoplites. Let's go back over here and see how this is going out. See how this is playing out. Lots of club levy over into this fight. I'm now seven. Look at this. The Bowie have actually pushed past Pergamon. I was really surprised by this. Uh, but my Pergamon ally, he was calling for reinforcements. So I had two units of club levy. Um, fairly healthy. Fairly healthy. Going over to support him. Come on, club levy. Let's go. See, like, club levy, man, I was all over the place. All over the place with these guys. Club levy. The bounce of power is in favor of the enemy, so... We're going to have to crawl our way back into this one. Yeah, see that? Woo. Oh, my God. Fierce fighting in the front line. Fierce fight. With that little extra support, hopefully that brings some relief to this uh, spear unit uh, from my ally. Oath Sworn, the generals take it on these spears. Oath Sworn should win this one. Club Levy over here, pretty depleted. They're probably going to die off here. But they got 166 kills. Club Levy over here, 141. So you can see a lot of my Club Levy are getting a lot of kills. Over here, it looks pretty depleted, but that's all right. If I can defeat Epirus, you know, if I could just defeat Epirus, I'd have so many more reinforcements to support my allies. Once again, the Pikes are... They're in an awkward position. They're going to fall back. And that had me a little nervous because I was like, uh-oh. Is he going to send up elephants? Yes, he is. He's sending up elephants. And this is where things get really sad. Okay, this is where things where disaster strikes, all right? My club, le club levy are made for killing other humans, not elephants. And, uh, yeah. At this point, I'm like, okay. I've got to throw in everything I have. Just try to scare the elephants with sheer numbers. I guess that's the only counter to elephants I have is numbers. Um, but look at they're already breaking my club levy. And I was like, uh oh guys, I think I need some skirmishers. I'm even sending in my general, the sword masters. Charge! Come on, club levy, smack him with your clubs. It's like doing nothing to these guys. Smack him with your clubs. Oof. Pretty epic fighting right here. Fight the good fight. So a lot of skirmishing going in. I'm Pergamon is victorious, by the way. So he was able to defeat the Bowie-Eye. So he's actually sending over a lot of his skirmishers now to support me. And the elephants are running amok. And look at this. They're running amok towards the enemy. That is the perfect case scenario here. Uh, because they could have easily run amok up there and destroyed my club levy. And there they go, running and just crushing their own men. Yes. And don't you come back, elephants. And look, at they're even running amok towards the archers. Look how close. Ready? And they're killing archers. Oh my god. I was just like, yes. I, like, this is one of the best run amok situations I've ever seen in this game. But I think they finally calmed down. Yeah, they're no longer freaking out. But they killed plenty. Look at that. Look at all the... Oh my god. They killed so many. So, now that my ally... Uh, Pergamon uh, was victorious over on his side. He's now going to send reinforcements elsewhere. Uh, the fight between us and Glacia is pretty close. But my club levy have just seen enough, man. They've killed... This unit's killed 100. Over here, this unit's killed only 36. But they're still, they still have 105 in the unit.
Got a lot of men holding the gate. And Epirus is, uh, once again, trying to send up elephants. But Sparta, man. Sparta sallies out to try to keep the elephants out of the city. True heroes here. And they're actually getting stuff done since they are a spear unit. And I think also the archer fire is helping out a ton. So the balance of power is a bit more even. I would say ever so slightly in favor of the attackers. But if we can kill the elephants, that's probably going to really change the balance of power. Hold, men. Hold. <laughs> I've got a couple units of club levy. But a lot of my army has... They have perished. In this battle. Oh, here comes the elephants again. But they're down to two? Three. Two. Is it one? No more elephants. They just got obliterated by archers. Elephants are gone. Hallelujah. My club levy are like, please, no. Pergamon, please. We don't have any skirmishers. Yeah, show them how real men fight, club levy. I mean, truly, if you go into a battle with a wooden club, you are a real man. Get him. Wow. Great hit with the wooden mallet there. Club levy. Alright, so Pergamon sent over his reinforcements to help with Glacia, but um, it's still a pretty close battle over here, and we've got to deal with this if we're going to win this battle. The archers are putting up great supporting fire for the hoplites. But probably getting some friendly fire, but that's alright. They're Spartans. They want to die. Got more club levy over here. These guys have already gotten 173 kills, and they still have 91 men in their unit. So that's pretty sweet. Epirus is now fully charging through the gates, sending in his archers, and then once again sending in the pikes. Hold them! Club levy! Alright, there we go. We're breaking these guys over here. And as soon as these guys are freed up, yep, we're going to be able to push and surround the Bowie Eye over here. Bowie Eye have some slingers? No, they have heavy horse they dismounted. Trying to support his ally. Come on, guys. Go the right way. Club Levy, they're not the smartest of, of soldiers. There they go. Here's the Galatian Legionaries. Look at Sparta just slowly closing in. God, I love Sparta. They look so cool. Charge! Fight him! Fight him dead! And we got the general trying to keep his men inspired for Epirus, but it's hard to keep your, ins your troops inspired when they're taking on Club Levy. It's very hard. Come on, Club Levy. The Pikes... The Pikemen have not lost a single man. Wow. This is where I need to not engage. I need to fall back and let them come in, and then I can surround them. Um, but I can probably disengage a lot of units over here, since they're no longer using these arrow towers. And just swarm around the gate. My general's all the way over here. Once again, he was picked apart by enemy archers, so he's down to 43. So, that's unfortunate. And it does seem like we are going to uh, be victorious here. So, not too worried about that. Just worried about the pikemen. And the balance of power is greatly in our favor, guys. It's looking really good. Hold. But yeah, it's pretty much all quiet on this front. Just got to deal with this last unit. And we're dealing with Epirus. There we go. Finally. Finally, I'm going to fall back from Epirus. 
And Epirus is going to push up some some archers. That's alright, my club levy will deal with that. Go, club levy, go! Come on, come on, Epirus. Don't be afraid. I assume uh, Pergamon is out of ammo. Because having ammo... With oh, no, they still have their bows out. Where are they, where are they going? Where are they going? I'm not sure. Using some archer fire would be very useful in this time. Oh, he's got two pikeman units here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So I'm trying to gather up all that's left of my army. I'm trying to kill off these, these archers who just will not die. Oh, nice, nice little jabby throw there. And more archers coming out to fight. I think I'm going to try to use some jabbies over here. Or I'm looking for a weak spot in their lines. Once again, I'm disengaging over here. They're forming a bit of an L. We got Cav now charging in, the general charging in. So yeah, I think he's finally moving up archers. He's going to be able to open fire. the heck there we go fire at them the general's getting stuck in his own pikeman fire at the pikeman more look at these archers look at how they're running they're like tired unfortunately I was using some javies on them guys save the javies for the pikeman more pikeman here they're down to 87 this unit's down to 52. Still pretty strong. And we're just going to rely on these archers. Fire! And over here, we're victorious. It looks like my club levy finished off what's left over here. 248 kills with that unit. Good God. This one, 106. Woo! There we go. He's breaking. And as soon as I saw him breaking, is when I um, thought about charging in. There we go. <laughs> I decided to charge in. And I'm going to get these guys. So the pikes are now falling back, but that's alright. That's okay. The general has fallen back over on this way. And now my, my troops, my club levy, are going to be able to attack the flank of the pikes. Here we go. Attack! And that's, uh, yeah. That caused his pikes to kind of reform, and now their pikes are no longer using pikes. And the rest of my club levy are going to go crashing in. We've got these pikes right, right where we want them. Charge in, men! Look at the pikes trying to fall back even more, but it doesn't matter. They are breaking. The general's trying to charge in to keep the morale high. At this point, I'm like, whatever, men. Oh, actually, I fall back. <laughs> and I assume we rely uh, with the archers again. So it's a bit of a... An, an it's just annoying dealing with these pike tactics, but... I mean, clearly the battle is going to be a victory here. So we're going to fast forward uh, and just get to the point where uh, the pikes have been defeated. There they go. They're breaking. And now it's down to their general. And finally, Epirus will be off the battlefield uh, for good. Uh, the, well, the general's not breaking anymore. <laughs> amazing. Just amazing. I just want to show you the stats here because uh, it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And there you go. The general has broken. There's a minute and 30 seconds left in the replay. Don't know why there's that much time. Uh, but it was a pretty close battle, guys. I mean, look look at what's left of our forces. This is about it, plus these units and my general. Uh, but it was really, really close. It was pretty intense. Uh, the defenders, like, they didn't get in the settlement too far, but they got a lot of kills. I mean, look at the death over here, the carnage. Just a bloody fight. And then over here, there's a lot of struggle going on. Look at that. You can still see flames on the ground where they had some intense fighting. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty, pretty intense there, guys. And now, um, 
I'm going to sally out. And there's a couple units that are recovering from breaking. My god, fast forwarding in this game is ridiculously bad. Uh, and there you have it, guys. Finally, finally, we have our victory. So let's end the replay. And look at those kills. 2,600 kills. Sure, I lost the most men, but I got the most kills. And look at almost every single club levy got over 100 kills, except for like two. Let's see, 92, 66. I think that's it. Uh, Bloodsworn only got 63, but they don't count. Or my general. So, yeah. Woo. Crazy, crazy fight, guys. Club Levy, actually, all jokes aside, not that bad. And if you, you know, give them a lot of chevrons, they, they put up a good fight. So, good game to all my allies armored there. Uh, Mr. Katsua, thank you so much for joining me in this fight. You guys all did great. And then we had the Dutch Legend Unclutch and Robo Loafer. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, so much. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. The Club Levy battle. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.